Welcome to this lesson on automation in LeapWork. In this lesson, we'll show you how to create a flow that will open and use three different applications across different technologies. First, we will start up the LeapWork demo application as we've seen in the previous lessons. We'll create a new and fictitious contact and then search for this contact and conclude by clicking on the email link which will cause the default mail program on my computer, in this case Outlook, to start and compose a new mail. I'll set a few fields in the mail and then send it off. And to verify that the mail was correctly received, we'll use the web automation features in LeapWork to open up Gmail in a Chrome browser, all within the same flow. We start out in a known scenario with a login, creation and search for a contact person in the demo desktop application. Let's just run that flow. And as you can see, this new fictitious LeapWork Evangelist contact has now been created in the demo CRM application. Next, I need to click on the email link using a click UI building block. I will capture the email and let's just run this click block. As you can see, it has now opened up an email with the desired address already filled in. Now that this window is active and in front, I can now continue to add a few blocks operating on this window. I will go ahead and add a subject, so set UI element value. Capture the subject field. and enter the value demo mail. And with that out of the way, I'll get ready to send the mail by clicking on the send button. Let's run these two mail blocks and get the mail sent off. Now to open the Gmail client and verify that the mail has reached its destination. I'm going to add a start web browser building block. Those of you familiar with web automation knows this block very well. It'll open the selected browser, in this case Chrome, and navigate to the specified address. I'll put in gmail.com. Let's just run this building block and launch the Chrome browser. Next is to create or commit the actual login. So I will start typing in my credentials for this. So using tap web text for that, capturing the username field entering the value to use for the username and then clicking on the next button and let's just run these two building blocks so entering the username and clicking next thereby continuing entering the password. So another type web text building block. Now, obviously this is a password, so I will use the password type to ensure that it is dotted. And then capture the field to put it into, like so. And finally, I will check the await DOM change 
this will make sure that this particular building block will make sure that the DOM tree has settled prior to commencing. Collapse the building block again and get ready to click on the next button again. Like so. Let's just run these last two blocks. As we can see, the mail is safely in the inbox. And now I'll use a find web element to verify this. Subject. And once this is found, I'll pass the case. I'll open the strategy editor for this find web element because I want to be able to configure what subject to look for. So I'll find a strategy that's based on the actual text and replace this with a dynamic field. This way I can inject the subject that I'm looking for. So here we have a condition that suits the purpose. The text equals the subject of the mail. So I will replace this with a dynamic field and click Save. With the field added to the find web element block, I can now connect the text I inserted in the subject of the mail to this field. This ensures that whatever subject we insert will be used when searching for the mail. Let's change the subject a bit. I'll simply add a number two to the subject and run the entire flow again. First, I'll just close down the demo application and press play. As we can see, the mail was found and the case passed. In this lesson, we have seen how we can move between different applications and technologies as part of the same automation flow. We've seen how easy it is to mix desktop automation with web automation and how to share values between these two technologies. This concludes this lesson.